Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly love reading for Libra. If you are single, new to the channel, I put singles love readings up every Monday. This is a general read. Take it how it best resonates, Libra. Oh, this one here wants to come out. Oh, the Magician, some Gemini energy. Yeah, someone's trying to manifest something here. This is someone who has all the tools, the information, everything they need to know to be happy. I see emotional fulfillment manifesting that. Yeah, I do see teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. It's energy of someone acknowledging. Okay, so there's going to be some kind of communication, someone acknowledging uh, happy home, happy life, or what it is that makes them happy. They're trying to manifest. There's going to be a communication. Yeah, look at that. It could be two people mirroring each other that want the same thing. Yeah, there's the chariot, some cancer energy. I do see someone waiting patiently for the right time or the opportunity. It's about investing. So somebody is definitely uh, determined, okay, uh, for this to pay off. Uh, they're definitely determined to have success. I see a lot of willpower. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel someone here, and it is possible someone put on the brakes because they're waiting for the right opportunity. Maybe the timing isn't right here, but if that is the case, I actually feel this is someone going to acknowledge something. Yeah, I see a whole new path at the start of something new. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna definitely need energy of going down this path. Now, some of you could be um, trying to, could be your skills, you know, things like that, that you, you have everything you need to manifest, your future. You may be actually just seeing the bigger picture, but I feel like this is another person. It has to, an energy of two people acknowledging each other's skills, coming together to build more. See, it's an energy. There's definitely a need for some kind of um, compromise, possibly. Yeah, I feel it's an energy of really positive, a whole new path. Could be, like I say, something you're learning, going down this path, learning something new, maybe going to school. But I feel it has to do with the timing. Yeah, you know, there may have been some obstacles or challenges in the way. So, but this is an energy when two people work together, okay? Two people want the same thing, a happy home, happy life, future. This is where two people can overcome these obstacles. This is a temporary energy. So maybe there's been a little conflict and someone put on the brakes here. Okay. Yeah, and I do see, yeah, someone's a little guarded, defensive. Yeah, may have, somebody may have actually put on the brakes and actually blocked somebody here. Someone's standing up for themselves here. But it's often an energy of someone who pushes someone away because the timing isn't right or, yeah, there's obstacles or challenges in their way. We'll see. Libra. Yeah, so I do see someone reminiscing, longing, a little guarded. This could have to do with children. But to me, it looks like someone kind of reminiscing. Now, it could be just an energy of someone crushing on someone and trying to manifest, but there's something that needs to be acknowledged. Okay, it has to do with acknowledging um, what two people want here. Okay, uh, and I do feel like maybe some of you are just changing your path. You know, you're looking at this, whether it's worth investing in, if the time is right. See, I do see patience in the middle, but it's an energy of, to me, I, I often see this as timing. Okay, or the timing may not be right, but someone feels like it is because they're coming in full steam ahead. They're determined to have success, to invest uh, in, it, in this, whether it's education or a whole new path between two people. Could have, ed have to do with education, um, uh, to do with children. Okay, someone may be standing up for that too. But definitely an energy of someone longing, you know, missing someone, longing for love. I don't know if there's been some kind of conflict here. So let's dig into this and see where this leads us. Let's have a look at the manifesting, the magician. Yeah, someone being patient, tempering their thoughts, their words. See, it's pulling back, trying something different. So it could be someone wanting to try something different. It could be an energy where someone puts on the brakes, they feel something is off. And it has to do with... Maybe the things you have in common, compatibility, cooperation, compromise, 
So temperance is not just patience. It's an energy of, you know, whether two people, it could be chemistry, but it's also an energy of something unique, somebody different, or a different kind of situation. So like I say, somebody here may be thinking going to school, learning something different, something unique. Okay, so I do see a need of acknowledging this. Okay, now this acknowledging is, is energy of doing what you love, recognition for highest quality work. So there's going to be some kind of acknowledgement here. Yeah, I'm liking this energy. Let's have a look at this Ten of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, see, Five of Pentacles. Someone feels they don't have enough money or they're, uh, somebody could be, uh, you know, feeling kind of lonely. Something feels off. But it has to do with someone, I feel, just being patient, trying to do the right thing here. Yeah. If you feel something is off, it may. You may feel something isn't in your best interest. But I really feel it's an energy of someone acknowledging there's something lacking. See, something is lacking here. It's keeping someone from being happy. So that's why I feel there's a need to cooperate and compromise. There's a need to acknowledge. Somebody may be feeling someone is lacking the experience, expertise, Okay, but I really feel it really has to do with the timing. Yeah, all's going to be exposed. It's about starting something new. So if there's been a lack of money, I actually feel like you're going down this path. This could be just someone going off to school. It could have to do with children too. So yeah, someone's definitely, like I say, standing up for themselves here. But I also see someone pushing someone away. So we'll see what this is about. Let's have a look at the chariot. Yeah, it has to do with starting something i see a lot of happiness a lot of joy so i do feel there's this new path yeah, someone's thinking things through choosing their battles this is something worth going after see it's something worth fighting for someone's fighting for something they want here they're going for it they've thought it through so someone is clear i feel they're pretty decisive here about this and it has to do with investing again eight of pentacles it could have to do with work or it has to do with someone putting in some effort you see, it has to do with waiting patiently for someone to put in some kind of effort here. And, you know, patience to do with work, a job, someone perfecting their craft, their skills. See, it has to do with skills. So it does look like a lot of hard work. Definitely looks like someone's thinking of, you know, you know some new, something new, something unique. Um, and it's also an energy of someone choosing something they love that brings them a lot of happiness and joy. So it could be a relationship energy, but it definitely looks like a person. Now, I do see the windfall of abundance where now the time is right. See, the timing wasn't right. Somebody was busy working, perfecting their craft and skills. You see, now the time is right. So like I say, is something worth going for, fighting for? There it is. I see an, a situation that wasn't successful because something was off or the timing was off. So there was a need for someone to just temper their passions, their emotions, and just be patient. So it looks like some patience is about to pay off. So what wasn't a victory or successful now can be. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm seeing victory here. Yeah, let's have a look at this uh, windfall of abundance, this new beginning. Yeah, it could be a new job, a new business. I see financial stability. Beautiful. Something very stable. It's safety, security. See, this is someone who's feeling left out in the cold, like they don't have enough money. So this is where I feel. It's an energy of someone who needs to, it's sort of like, I feel like telling you to act now. Okay, the time right is now. So, okay, no procrastination. Yeah, see, two of cups, two people, see, two people letting their guards down, two people both standing up for each other, see, working together as a team, being on the same page. So now this could be, you know, a family situation, starting something new, a uh, new family, you know, happy home, happy life, children, but it's about, uh, I feel it's a friendship, a soulmate connection. So this is two people, I feel, communicating, seeing eye to eye, see, by letting their guards down, not pushing each other away. So it's an energy of things just needing to be acknowledged. Someone could be feeling left out in the cold, ignored, where someone's not acknowledging them, okay? It could be that simple. Cause, and I do see someone, you know, like I say, putting in, someone not putting in a lot of effort, but someone is choosing something they want. They're going for it. They've thought it through, and they are, you see, so someone may have rushed into a situation without thinking and then felt suddenly the time wasn't right. Well, the time is right now. 
Okay, that's what it's saying. Whether it's work, a relationship, two people partnering up, it has to do with coming together, building a legacy, stability. Beautiful. Yeah, see, we got someone in their feelings here, exploring their feelings. So I do see a dating. So someone needing to let their guard down because it's like two people guarded, defensive, need to let their guard down. They need to stop pushing each other away. Yeah, see, it's someone longing for love. This could just be a kind of a crush situation or something that's been going on for quite some time. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So it's options, possibility, someone fantasizing, romanticizing. Yeah, someone's definitely looking at the possibilities. Yeah, this is someone who sees opportunity. See, it's an opportunity. Yeah, I feel two people are going to see eye to eye here once they let their guard down and stop pushing each other away. And it could be, like I say, someone maybe blocked somebody. They may be unblocking them. Mm hmm. What an interesting energy. Seven of Cups, opportunity, romanticizing. See, fantasizing. Ooh, about marriage commitment, two people being just right, balance. It's about being fair. Yeah, somebody here maybe want to make something right. It has to do with coming in right. See, this person's definitely, I do see someone's pride and ego getting in the way. So there may have been, an, you know, some kind of argument or just obstacles in the way. But it's like a situation that wasn't successful. It wasn't long term, I feel, and moving towards something that is. And it has to do with planning for success, you know. Yeah, I, I see possible commitment for some of you, but I mean, it could be going to school, could be something to do with uh, being a lawyer, something legal happening here too. But it's someone seeing all the possibilities and romanticizing. Uh, someone's missing somebody here. And then we have the three of pentacles. See, there it is. Things being set right, cooperating, compromising, see? So I feel it's an energy of someone who wasn't cooperating and compromising. Uh, or somebody was ghosting someone, ignoring them, making them feel left out, or making them feel like they weren't good enough. See, it's an energy of someone who wasn't being acknowledged. Well, somebody's now getting acknowledgement. So I see all this joy and happiness, this new beginning. Everything's clearing up. So that's nice, really nice. Tell me about that sun. Libra. Tell me about the sun for Libra. Yeah, see, it's an energy of change, change for the better. So could be someone coming back around after a long period of time or it doesn't have to be a long period. I feel someone here just kind of going with the flow. This is fairly quick moving energy. This is where someone puts on the brakes, things kind of slow down. But I feel this is a person who's determined to have success. See, they're determined now. And that's why often the Knight of Swords, because it's just a knight, it's more youthful kind of energy, but it's an energy of someone who didn't think things through, you see, and possibly change their mind. So, mm hmm someone's changing their mind for the better, though. I feel we got two people going to talk and see eye to eye here. Yeah, lovely. It could be someone at a distance. It's also someone may have not come in right or treated someone right where they didn't really take time to get to know them or it has to do with a long distance relationship. Yeah, see, there's been some confusion, a little fear, things that are hidden, you know, some secrecy. See, someone's feeling really confused, so their guard's up here. Yeah, and it has to do with chasing. See, someone chasing. Definitely, we have a person who really wants this, whatever it is, whether it's a, there's a couple things going on or not. It has to do with education, this new path, the windfall of abundance. See, someone being successful. Just make sure someone's chasing you for the right reasons. They're not, you know, coming back around because you're now successful, where before they felt you weren't good enough or treated you that way because they felt you didn't have any money. But I actually feel this is someone, whoever this is, I feel we have a person who is actually very stable, also very creative too, you know, someone who creates their own path, uses creativity to become successful. So this is a really nice energy, but I, this is where I feel, see, being fair, cooperating, compromising, committing to the path, the things that two people have in common, you see? So a little fear of commitment possibly, maybe when someone put on the brakes, 
So we're fear that it won't be successful, but it's about pushing through it, letting that guard down. See, someone's a little careful what they believe. So let's have more on that moon. You know, some cancer energy, possibly. Yeah, there's a lot of emotion in the readings and a lot to do with communication and all the readings right now. So it's, you know, I don't know if things that happened during Met Mercury retrograde, something started, you see, isn't always the best time to start anything. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it, you know, it's an energy of something started, didn't go very far. But yeah, I feel things are about to clear up. There it is. This is the energy of the birth of something new, the Empress. Oh, the mystery of the Empress. Someone being mysterious. Someone's maybe blocked somebody or just, um, could be someone who's pushing someone away. But I, I feel the, this is the mystery of the Empress. Someone feeling confused. See, we have someone, I mean, the Empress has so much abundance, has so much to offer. Yeah, I would be a little cautious of someone who comes back around if you are now successful, because I do see the Empress as an energy of someone who knows their worth and value. It's also someone who focuses on their money, keeps their life in balance. Uh, someone who's often successful and always open for new creative ideas, always willing to cooperate and compromise. So someone's definitely reminiscing, missing someone and romanticizing and fantasizing here about marriage and commitment. See, someone's looking at that. Now, this is often an energy where someone shows somebody they like them by giving them a little gift. We know the Empress can be uh, quite generous, but I still see the guard. And see, someone needs to let their guard down. They need to quit pushing someone away. So, yeah, I don't know if you block this person because of it. You finally may have, you know, lost patience with this person because something felt off. So you may have just decided to block them or they blocked you because of insecurities. Yeah, see, there it is, lack of reciprocity, insecurity, someone not reaching out, not being very generous. See, the Empress showers uh, abundance on someone. Now I feel it's someone either paying you back, could be money, okay, where there was a lack, or they're going to be more generous. Yeah, it does look like a person, you know, some kind of change, someone coming back around. It could be, a, you know, it's an energy of somebody looking, you know, knowing they need to acknowledge, uh, cooperate and compromise, uh, feel the things that you have in common. So you have common energy here, which I feel is the three of pentacles, you know, the ability to cooperate and compromise, to be generous, but it has to do with reciprocity. So somebody was lacking. Now, I don't know if you gave somebody money, um, and then they, you know, took off in the other direction, you know, it has to do with possibly travel too, someone being generous. Yeah. Someone put on the brakes though, like I say, or somebody here tried to control something and lost control. So, but look at, there we go. See, emotional fulfilling and happiness. See, it's an energy of the Empress waiting for someone to reciprocate, uh, to reach out, to talk, to communicate. But there is a need to cooperate and compromise. There's some things you want. You both want to be happy, happy home, happy life. It's an energy of uh, looking at the bigger picture, seeing the bigger picture. So tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah, Libra, see? Thinking things through here. So I feel there's some kind of judgment. Someone may have judged you, may have judged you wrong because they didn't take time to get to know you. But it looks to me like you kind of, Possibly it was yourself that put on the brakes here. Some sort of decision. Now that decision may not have been made yet. It's something that may uh, be coming up. Yeah, see, we have friends and family, um, maybe another going to another community, traveling, going somewhere. Now there's, this is often good news. I see some good news coming in. Uh, things shifting in your favor, but I definitely feel the Empress is the one with the power, the Empress being mysterious. So somebody here, it's that mystery of the Empress. They want to know something. Yeah. I think somebody's, I, I, it almost feels like someone's panic, pan, panicking a little bit here, but it's an energy of someone longing for love, romanticizing. See, it has to do with making a choice. Now the Empress often keeps their options open. See? Seeing, I mean, the Empress knows a good thing when they see it. They know an, a good opportunity when they see it, whether someone's right for them or not. You know, they also know they need to, you know, the things you have in common. And I, I feel Libra here. It's an energy of somebody you know, maybe judged you wrong or 
Yeah, I mean, you may have, like I say, you may put on the brakes here. If something feels off, it generally is. It's not always in your best interest. But there's that, that sh the shift where the timing is right. Things are starting to go in your favor. <laughs> I definitely see you. You're not chasing anybody. See, you're not chasing. I feel like you, you know, maybe overcome some obstacles and challenges. I do see a victory. But it has to do with two people. See? Two people talking, communicating, uh, seeing eye to eye, see, treating each other right, being fair. So it has to do with someone who maybe wasn't fair. They felt something is off and then just suddenly put on the brakes. So, yeah, see, Queen of Swords, there you are. It does look like you may have put on the brakes here or somebody was trying to control something and they lost control because I definitely see you taking back your power. See you being wise, trusting your inner knowing. Uh, the moon is here. Yeah, if you want clarity. If something is becoming confusing, you want clarity. See, when things something feels off, it starts to get too confusing. You're not going to, um, you know, sit and deal with it. So it has to do with clarity and truth. You want to know the truth, nothing but the truth. You want someone who puts in some effort. It's almost like somebody was breadcrumbing. You were putting in all the effort and you were waiting for them to uh, patiently. But eventually those patients run out. So that's why I feel like you may be breaking free, going down another path. But it does look like this person may be coming back around to be more generous. There it is. Trusting your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. So you might know who this person is. But I do feel like you already know everything you need to know, your inner wisdom. Why? Because it's the Empress. You've already learned these lessons. <laughs> your in, I feel like your intuition is quite powerful right now. Mm -hmm. I do think you're focused on work, but you want someone who puts in the effort. And it's an energy where it takes two people. See, it takes two. See, you were being generous and now you're waiting for someone to reciprocate. Maybe you gave somebody money, a loan. Okay, or it just could be talk, communication. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, see someone dragging their feet, focused on their money. It's a person who often comes back after a long period of time feeling different, seeing things differently. See, after a period of time, after they've calmed down. So I don't know if they put on the brakes or you. It's hard to say, but it's someone who's definitely focused a lot on money. It's also a person who's apprehensive, often dragging their feet. So this is where I feel you know, maybe you kind of lost patience with this person. See, tempering those passions, tempering being patient, getting out of your head, tempering your thoughts. See, trusting your inner knowing. I feel like you know, okay? You know, you know who this is. You know what to do. Tell me about the world. Yeah, see, a little Taurus energy. So it is the way somebody, see, some, some sort of change for the better. Now, this could be an existing relationship where there's been a lot of struggles, challenges. Well, I see some success regardless. Now, I do see someone planning and preparing uh, for the best plan and planning for the worst. So I see a possible, could be a prenup. Um, but it has to do with two people being on the same page. And I do feel there's something to do with communication. If someone doesn't communicate clearly or they take their time to reply when you reach out, you eventually end up, you know, losing patience. They may be hiding something, being secretive. It's confusing. So, yeah, there you go. Well, the Empress isn't dealing with confusion. The Empress has that Queen of Swords energy, Libra, you see? <laughs> Speak the truth given to me straight up. <laughs> yeah, see, you're going to speak your mind here. But you know, the Hierophant is um, someone's habits, belief, their behavior. It also has to do with having faith. See, you have someone here you don't have faith in because they're dragging their feet. You have faith in yourself and the path that you're on, that you will be successful. And that's what I feel. If that's what you're doing, I feel like you will be. If you're going to school, learning something new, it's about doing what's right for you. If you have someone who doesn't treat you right or they come in with lack, ghost you, ignore you, block you, push you away, you know, it gets to the point where it's enough is enough. So that's why I feel some of you are, you're keeping your options open. So yeah, see, there's the tower. This is where the tower comes down. See, maybe you lost your temper. Now it could be someone else who lost their temper as well. Okay, but it's the tower coming down. See, there's no commitment. So it could be somebody getting angry because they took too long to come around and you kept your options open. Maybe you're even seeing someone else and now they're angry. 
So uh, I can see that for some of you, but if there's no commitment, if someone won't commit and you hardly ever hear from them, uh, sit around wasting your time. But I do see a shock, a surprise, and actually something positive here to do with work for some of you. So see, there it is. Full steam ahead, taking back your power. I think you stood up to someone, most of you. You stood up to them. Yeah, I don't know if they have a temper or something isn't right. Whatever the issue is, I, I feel it's how they conduct themselves, their habits, their lifestyle. And I do see changes for yourself, change of habit, change of lifestyle. But I do see change for the better. So it's possible this person could be coming in change for the better, willing to cooperate and compromise. So I guess it's basically saying time will tell with Seven of Pentacles. You know, it has to do with investing, hoping it pays off. Yeah, see, six of cups, someone longing. See, they're missing someone. This person longing for love, missing a person. You know, they may come in and communicate suddenly out of the blue. It could be a bit of a shock. Some of you know who this is, and others of you may not. Okay, because it could be someone from quite some time ago. But if, it, if you have this happening just once, like some of you have a type too. You may have dated other types like this, so you might be a little confused who this is. So if you have a type, people who seem to drag their feet, they're more focused on money than they are on that soulmate connection. Mm -hmm. But there's the Six of Cups right there in the heart of the reading. Someone longing for love, missing someone. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the tower. Ooh, that came out quick. Yeah, See, someone has some kind of regrets. Now, I don't know if they lost their temper. Uh, they lost control of their emotions whatever happened, but they didn't conduct themselves very well. In fact, I don't think they're very proud of themselves. Um, you're not chasing them, there's no doubt. But I feel this co person's coming to get you. So if there's been uh, some kind of argument, someone lost their temper, I don't think they're proud of themselves. No, it might take this person a while. But why did they lose their temper? Yeah, Emperor, they like to be in control. It's my way or the highway. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but they're coming in better. They're actually, this is someone who's learned some lessons from that. So, because that Six of Swords is here somewhere. So they've learned some lessons. So this is someone who's leveling up to that emperor. See, now they're, they have their, now they're no longer ruled by their emotions. So this could be someone you maybe haven't heard from for a while. Maybe you knew them when you were young. I mean, there could be children or something to do with children here as well. But... I really feel like this is someone who's leveled up. So this is somebody who's actually mature now. So it does look like it's someone you knew a long time ago or some time ago, but they've definitely learned some lessons. See, they, this is like I say, their emotions got the best of them. They lost their temper or they just weren't patient um, either or. So, yeah, if you're waiting for a situation to come to fruition, this person may be, like I say, I feel they're in a bit of a hurry. They feel like it's too late. You may have moved on. You could be looking elsewhere, have other opportunities, other options. This could be a boss situation too. So, but yeah, the tower's coming down. So, yeah, this person's, like I say, they're coming in to take control here, but they're they're in control of their emotions this time. They're not, they're no longer ruled by them because they're an emperor. So it's a situation coming to fruition. I feel like you're waiting. You're just focused on work and other things, creative pursuits. I do think you're keeping your options open. You're not going to sit around doing nothing. Yeah, see, heading down another path here. One last look over the shoulder, you're heading down another path. Some of you just want to be happy. I actually feel like you have options, and I feel like you're about to make a choice, but you're going to choose who's right for you. See, it's an energy of looking back at this. This is someone who just isn't right for you. Uh, regardless if they come back around okay so whoever it is i mean you could have this other person here and then you could have this emperor energy somebody with aries possibly in their chart um, yeah like i say maybe you lost your temper i don't know but regardless and it could be them but it also could be another person because i'm sensing three people here so yeah, someone's romanticizing, fantasizing, yeah, about love, a bond, a connection. Oh, yeah, there's some romantic energy here, no doubt. What does this emperor want? What is their intentions? Oh, they want to communicate. They want to talk. They're in a hurry. This person's in a hurry. They see you may have other opportunities, multiple opportunities. They actually feel it may be too late, but, yeah. 
It's going to come to fruition. If you're waiting for them, it's coming. And it's likely going to come in suddenly. So this doesn't have to be, you know, um, years and years. And it could be. I mean, I do see a cycle. So it could be 10 years. Um, it could be a month. could be a week, you know, that kind of energy. But there it is. See, manifesting through communication. This person's definitely. And I do see a little mirroring. Both of you kind of mirroring each other a little too. So maybe you both got angry here. Uh, it's a little bit of a power struggle between two people because we have an empress and we an emperor. You see, there's a bit of a been a power struggle. So this person's going to communicate. They have all the tools. They have everything they need. So this is someone who's mastered their emotions now. So, and it, it may not even be the same person. Like I say, I see a Taurus energy here too. Someone moving slow. You may be deciding to move on. So there is some change for the better coming. I do feel like you have a lot of abundance. I feel you know, if you've been waiting for someone to reciprocate, like I say, you may decide to move on towards this new person. So we have the emperor and the empress here. Beautiful energy. There's strong Gemini here too. Lots of Gemini energy. We have a single person, see, very independent, the empress. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. I see you being successful. Um, someone here may be a little concerned here, a little fear that you're no longer single or available. You know who this is. I, I feel like you know. If you don't know, I'd be surprised, but it is possible. Um, it could be just someone from, for some of you, it could be, you know, someone from a long time ago where things didn't, they didn't end well because of the tower. But the tower is also... Um, a shock or a surprise when someone comes in what they have to say what they're saying to you okay but that's where i feel it's somebody lost control of their emotions so someone definitely i feel it feels somebody got angry so it has to do with feeling safe and secure not feeling safe and secure with somebody i i feel honestly i feel some of you this person just isn't you're looking at this after a period of time and they're just not right for you you know they weren't be somebody wasn't being fair and it's possible they're realizing that now the epiphany they weren't being fair so there we have the wheel of fortune a whole new cycle like i say it could be you know a month uh, 10 years but they are looking at it so that's why i say it's somebody who's leveling up they've mastered that see now they're, they're very determined they know what they want they're going for it you see but this is often someone who likes to be in control i feel like you took your power back Okay, they like to control everything. But I do see a power struggle because the chariot's there twice. Maybe you're both more mature now, too. Like I say, it could be years later. You're both mature. Yeah, this is definitely someone confident, strong. I also see kindness, compassion, forgiveness. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a person who doesn't hold a grudge. It's often an energy, like I say, someone who's often fair, but I do feel it has to do with someone being generous with their time, their energy, maybe even their money. It could be someone you were in a relationship uh, with, you know, some sort of commitment. But if you have a person who's non-committal and they're dragging their feet, yeah, they only wait so long. I mean, that person only waits for so long. <laughs> and I do see a single person, someone taking care of themselves, looking out for number one leaving something behind quite honestly i feel like you've got someone coming in and i do feel it could be a gemini it really could be anyone though i mean i'm seeing you know someone here who sees you as just right but you want someone who comes in right you're keeping your options open till the right person comes in and they treat you right and they're fair so yeah but there it is see there's going to be acknowledgement of your success you see and this could be actually, you know, two of you acknowledging something about the things you have in common. So, yeah. Like I say, I don't think you're going to be single much longer. i got to be honest. I actually feel some of you are going to connect uh, with this person. If it isn't this person coming back around and you've moved on, you still have somebody else here. There's a bond and a connection. There's love. So let's have another look at the lovers. It looks like somebody you making you're just making a choice, I feel. Looks like you have some options. You're just keeping them open. 
Yeah. If you have someone dragging their feet, maybe that's where you're confused and maybe you're just having that epiphany. They likely have other options. So, you know, no point in sticking around. Yeah. So you're being cautious, being careful. See, this is being too generous with someone, giving too much. Maybe someone took advantage of your generosity. So I feel like you're now being careful, only giving so much, just a little bit until you get something you want. See, somebody here got a fulfillment they got what they want and you never got what you wanted well you're about to get something you want <laughs> it could be a person or just like i say love someone who's compatible someone who's very compatible with you yeah very nice very nice yeah they're definitely someone exploring their feelings see this is someone it does it does almost look like someone new like you're breaking free from one situation Focusing on work, other things, and then all of a sudden, you know, it just kind of comes in out of the blue. But it is definitely a person who's romanticizing, kind of fantasizing. <laughs> See? Possibly the past, or it's just a new crush. So saying just to give them a little bit, don't give them too much till they give you something that you want. Because I do see the energy of someone being very patient, patiently waiting for someone to give them what they want. And then that person put on the brakes. For whatever reason so it's possible there's someone here who just wasn't into you and just wasn't felt that you weren't their type too so but whatever's coming in i do see dating and courting this is definitely a person who's chasing <laughs> okay you're not the empress isn't chasing here and this is this person who's doing the chasing but it has to do with whether you're single or not see you're leaving the single life behind here it's also a person, I feel, who doesn't want to be single. So let's grab some moon cards for Libra. Let's have a look at the moon. The energies of the moon. Oops, there we go. All right, we got prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So there's some Taurus energy here. Now, this could also do with the Empress energy. Um, fiery climax approaches, new moon in Aries. So we have somebody with some Aries in their chart or Leo for some of you. This is, has to do with kindness, compassion, being strong. This person's very confident things will go in their favor. So they also, this is someone who's coming in right. You see, that's where I feel. So it's like you've, you've been manifesting and it looks like there's several people. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing a crescent, crescent moon. This is, you're going to get something you want. It's saying to have faith. And adjustments are required. Cooperation compromise. See some kind of adjustments. Third, third quarter moon. And how, I feel it has to do with acknowledging your successes. Okay. I also see the need to let go of ego and pride as well. I also see you teaching someone how you want to be treated, taming the beast. So they, this could be someone who goes off and then comes back as that emperor. Yeah. Stepping out of the comfort zone. Yeah. So see somebody here, it has to do with feeling comfortable, stepping out of that comfort zone. So something made someone uncomfortable. Like I, I feel it's just an energy where you were at a different place on a different path. Um, you know, something your path led you. Maybe you were more successful than them. Okay, their pride and ego may have gotten in the way. So, yeah, but there they are. Now, this could be a giant apology, but like I say, it could be them coming in to apologize. But others of you, I definitely feel like you're going to do someone here who's right for you. You're going to do what's right for you. You're looking out for number one. You're looking out for yourself. Okay, very independent. So it has to do with being independent. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to be single much longer. I feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith, but you're doing it carefully. Like, I feel like you're looking before you leap. You're reflecting on some of this energy, whether it has to do with this new person or this person here or not. Okay, so definitely an energy of stepping out of that comfort zone. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do. Here's the last one. Yeah, you're very close to achieving your goals. See, very goal-oriented. Um, I feel like you're very close to achieving whatever it is that you're wanting right now, whether it's going to school, learning something new, being more independent, financially stable. It's very possible some of you 
uh, just want to be a free spirit. You want to be free as well. But like I say, um, when you least expect it, here comes that knight of, of, of um, cups. Some kind of romance, whining, dining. But like I say, don't give this person too much because that's why I feel whatever has happened in the past where you're reflecting on could be somebody who didn't want to commit. Once they got their cup full, they got what they want. You see, they stopped giving you attention or stopped putting in any effort because it's where the other person's doing all the work. You see, yeah, we all, we all know that energy, right? So there you are. Uh, the gibbous moon, you're very close to reaching your goals. That's why I feel like you're about to get something you want. Do take care and we will see you soon.